Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, I'm going to go over to RadarOnline.com, and this is about a shocking uh, text uh, from Mistress sent to Murray PA Trooper before officer improperly threw her into a mental facility. Uh, yes, uh, real life is stranger than fiction. Okay? <laughs> the article... Writer, I will uh, put in the description as I always do, but it says a married Pennsylvania state police trooper was suspended from his job without pay after committing his mistress to a mental facility uh, treatment program under false pretenses. And the texts at the center of the ordeal have now been exposed. Radar Online has learned. Trooper Ronald Davis who has a wife and family, contacted county officials last month via his police email to obtain an order of involuntary commitment for his mistress, Michelle Profana, and track the woman down to apprehend her after he uh, submitted texts in which she threatened suicide, court documents reveal. Mm -mm. I think I'm going to drive off a cliff, one allegedly stated. If this is where I'm supposed to die, so be it. Another allegedly, uh, allegedly read, followed by a third with spelling errors, go out in style. I don't even have any clothes. You, ha uh, you help them hostage. You held them hostage is what it's supposed to say oh well i'll just do it in style naked have a nice life the trooper age 37 and the woman were involved in a four-month affair that took a pretty nasty turn davis sought out assistance with an issue that was ongoing with his former girlfriend on august the 21st referring to another text that read my mental health doesn't matter I'm a, un, I'm a useless, old, stupid, uneducated piece of ish. Oh, wow. My goodness. Davis is accused of violently detaining his ex at the Pennsylvania State Game Lands in Windsor. State force, which led to her being improperly struck in a mental facility for multiple days. The woman expressed her confusion as he tried to apprehend her. Uh, Profana later informed police that she never had any intention of taking her own life and just wanted to get his attention or uh, elicit a reaction which police found credible per her Per the affidavit, she and Davis uh, repeatedly made statements threatening the uh, paint her as crazy and allegedly warned her, I know the law. That's crazy. Um, yeah, so that was a short article. Um, just really crazy on how, uh, you know, certain people take, you know, things out of context and they take things, in, you know, into their own hands, especially people that are in a position of power or has been entrusted with a position of power. Uh, uh, sometimes, not everyone, but some people tend to use that as their advantage because they can get away with it or they have the certain backing that will essentially vouch for them because they are considered a credible person in the eyes of the law or whatever the situation is or profession you know it's just one of those things uh rule number one never get involved with law enforcement okay um i've heard so many stories that's just a personal opinion of my of mine's you know, I've heard so many stories and I've seen and read so many stories. 
of people just, you know, their life is just, just totally ruined or in some sad instances ended because of the person that they were dealing with, um, whether it be a cop or, you know, someone of law enforcement. Uh, side note, true story. Uh, a family member of mine's life was taken because a careless officer chose to show up at the person's house that they were dating and their patrol car, which they were off duty. And sadly, you know, my family member got access to the vehicle and, you know, essentially was playing with some other kids. They were a child playing with some other kids and wound up being unalived because of the officer's carelessness and the mother's carelessness as well. Um, long story short, a lot of stuff happened. Uh, the officer was never charged even though he should have been because you're not supposed to be driving around in your cruiser, let alone leave it unattended and unlocked um, so that things like that can happen when you're not on duty. But anyway, that just is, you know, one of the main reasons why, you know, just never date law enforcement. It's always going to go wrong for the person that's dating them. You know, um, the burden is always going to be heavier on the person that's dating as opposed to the person that actually has the backing of law enforcement. But I don't know. That's just my opinion and my experience. Well, one of my experiences. But I would definitely like to know how you guys feel about this. Drop down in the comments section. Um, he should have been, you know, arrested. He should be arrested for what he did, you know, um, it's one thing to, you know, step out of your marital household and be with another person, it's another thing to essentially put the person that you chose to step out with in a position to where as though they have to be in a mental facility because you feel some type of way or you're mad or you feel like a person is going to say something when, you know, based upon the relationship, you know, you probably had something to do with that person's decline or mental decline or whatever the case was. Uh, so, yeah, you know, treat people how you want to be treated. I mean, don't do things that you will regret and definitely don't think just because you have some sort of power or position that that will always save you. Okay, either way, you're going to pay for it in the end, whether it be that people find out in this case or whether it be by spiritual law. All right, but drop down in the comment section as we always do. Let's chop it up. Tell me how you feel about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And with that, I will get with you guys later.